Drill a hole through the outer tank wall of the gravity stream, above the inlet, in the location where the arrow indicates. Measure from the inner tank wall and mark one of the shower arms prior to cutting. Refer to the instructions for exact dimensions. Remove the nuts and washers on both sides of the beam. Use an overhead crane to lift the beam off of the gravity strainer. Before setting the beam down, remove the shower arms and the hub assembly. Lift the sieve assembly out of the gravity strainer's tank. Remove the seal running around the inside of the tank. Drill a hole through the inner tank wall that lines up with the hole through the outer tank wall. Mark the baffle to be modified and then remove the baffle. Measure the area on the baffle which needs to be modified. Cut the baffle using a grinder. Remove and discard the cut portion of the baffle. Use the grinder again to cut the inner portion of the baffle. Then discard the inner portion. After modifying the baffle, deburr the edges. Remove the screws around the outer clamp ring. Use a flat screwdriver to loosen the clamp ring and then lift it off. Remove the screws on the inner clamp ring and then lift that off also. Remove the old screen. Place the sieve assembly back in the gravity strainer's tank. Note the two bulkhead fittings are different, one for the inner tank wall and one for the outer wall. Add pipe thread sealant to one end of the Teflon pipe and screw on the outer half of the inner wall bulkhead fitting. Pass the pipe bulkhead unit through the drilled hole in the inner wall and then add the second half of the inner wall bulkhead fitting. Add sealant to the other end of the pipe, then attach the outer bulkhead fitting to this end, connecting the two halves together. Tighten the bulkhead fittings onto the pipe using a wrench. Drill holes above the outer bulkhead fitting and attach the bracket for the regulator. Then add the regulator to the bracket. Tighten the air fittings on the outer bulkhead fitting and on the regulator. Install a plastic tube to join the two air fittings together. Replace the modified baffle, lining up the cut area with the bulkhead fittings. Remove the cutoff portion of the shower arm. Remove the nylon nozzle extension near the cut end of the shower arm. The welding process might cause the nylon extension to melt. Attach the new nozzle assembly to the arm. Once it's seated, check its alignment with the other nozzles. Then weld the new nozzle assembly to the shower arm. Remove the old nozzles. Add anti-seize to the threads to prevent galling. Then put the new nozzles on the shower arm. Remember to replace the nylon nozzle extension.
Tighten the nozzles on the shower arm using a wrench. Repeat this process for the remaining shower arms. Work the pneumatic seal around the pneumatic ring. Position the pneumatic unit inside the gravity strainer atop the sieve assembly. Use an overhead crane to lift and replace the beam assembly. Remember to put back the hub and the modified shower arms prior to replacing the beam. To install the slip-on screen, work the edges of the screen under and around the pneumatic ring. Pass the screen under the shower arms while maneuvering it around the circumference of the gravity strainer. Once the screen is on the pneumatic ring, check it for tightness and to make sure that it's evenly distributed around the ring. Connect the pneumatic seal's airline to the inner bulkhead fitting. Tighten it with a wrench. Hook up an air hose to the regulator and set it for the proper PSI setting. The pneumatic seal on the pneumatic ring will expand, stretching the screen and eliminating the space between the seal and the inner wall of the gravity strainer.